everybody and welcome back to The Breakfast Club. You're with me, Ben Ibrahim. And this morning, as part of our healthy living segment, it's breakfast with dance choreographer, Maple Lou. Maple, welcome to The Breakfast Club. Thank you, Ben. Now, Maple, for the benefit of our audience, we know you are a professional dance choreographer, mm. but tell us a little bit about your dance background, how you got into it, the kind of work that you're doing now. Right. Um, I have been a professional dancer for almost 20 years now. It's, yeah, it's hard to believe time flies when you're having fun, you <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah, literally. Yeah, and, um, you know, I've enjoyed every moment. Um, you know, that, that's, I think that's where it stems from, passion, right. you know? You've got to love it enough to sustain. Yeah. And, you know, I've been, uh, been, I've had the opportunity to do so much in the industry. That's right. Not just dance, but in the acting scene as well. Really? In the commercial scene, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So well, we see you a lot in uh, magazines, in billboards, commercials, yeah. all of the above, but... Because you're very, very good at what you do, and Thank you. you are very blessed with good looks as well. God Thank is you. not fair, but never mind. I will not get into <laughs> that. But you're you're doing a you're judging now yeah, for yeah. a dance uh, television program. Tell yes. us about that program. It's called Showdown, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, Showdown now. Showdown 2011 is starting now, and um, it's a phenomenal platform for dancers, street dancers to have the street opportunity. Street dancers, yeah. Street dancers yeah. to have the opportunity to you know um, to showcase their talent. Okay. Yeah, to Malaysia. Okay. And it, I think it's an important step for the industry to recognize dancers okay. for who they are and what they can do. Fantastic. Mm. A great platform for young dancers. But yeah. Maple, today we're speaking about healthy living. How mm. dance can contribute to a healthy lifestyle. Now, in your personal opinion, how can it? Um, well, dance and has a lot. because you're a professional yeah, dancer. Yeah, um, you know, it has a lot of benefits. I mean, health is, you know, number one because when you dance, um, you, you build muscles in your body yeah. and, you know, no doubt that it's, uh, it's, 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 it's cardio, cardiovascular. Right. And so um, very much working up sweat, working up the heart yeah, you rate. Break, you, you break a lot of sweat, <laughs> right? And because, you know, like you need that certain discipline, mm -hmm. right? You need to do a lot of training on your own or with a group. And, you know, when you do your rehearsals, especially, you do it over and over. So it, it's a hell of a workout. Yeah. yeah. Now, Maple, tell us about you, you're training a lot of people in different forms of mm. dance in terms mm. of genres but mm. we noticed lately that pole dancing has become a recent phenomenon yep. with females yes and some males but mostly females yep. in the yep. malaysian market so yep. tell us about that phenomenon and um, how can pole dance help people in terms of fitness you know i think you know i i i will describe pole dance as the promise of a new day for women because it is such a great uh, workout and you know you know it builds women from inside out so a confidence builder as well not just yes, an exercise builder yeah because I think within every woman there is a deep-rooted desire to be sexy mm -hmm. you know to feel confident and confidence is everything because a strong woman makes a sexy woman right, right so that really sums it all up and I want to be the one in this country to facilitate that process right. for a woman to get stronger from inside out to be confident of themselves and to be what they want to be because Great. they can Right, because when you're confident, yeah. you literally want to go the distance when you're exercising. Yeah, and you know, like you, you know, a lot of women are filled with self-doubt. Mm. A lot of women that come to me, the first thing they see what I do is, oh God, I can't do this. <laughs> That's the first thing that they say, they can't do it. But once they take that first step, it's that first step that they need to take that's going to be life-changing. Okay. And the first step that they take is they come for a class and then they realize, wow, I can do this. I can't believe it. Yeah. So, you know, you just got to believe in yourself yeah. and, you know, it might look very hard because the professionals make it look easy, Yes. but uh, it's not impossible. You know what they say, Maple, sometimes the easiest thing to do is always the hardest. And pole dancing looks simple, but it's not. Now, from an exercise physiology mm -hmm. point of view, tell us mm -hmm. about the muscles that you work because okay. a lot of people think it's just arms, mm. but I've tried it. Yes, mm. I have tried it. And it's painful stuff with a lot of hard work and dedication yeah. that is required. But you yeah. do exercise your back muscles, certain leg muscles. So tell us about yeah, that. Yeah. So, well, okay. Pole dancing is a weight-bearing exercise. It's a weight-bearing. It's, weight, it's a weight-bearing exercise. It means that you have to um, use your own, you have to lift your own body weight. Mm. Okay. And you have many times you have to lift your own body weight airborne. Wow, so yeah, you use a lot of your center. <laughs> I struggle with that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of your center, a lot of your core muscles. Right. So... Um, when you use your core muscles, mm -hmm. um, you build a lot of strength from within. Yep. And it's really not the muscles that you see from the outside. Because yeah, as we see there on the screens, you're holding up your weight from yeah, the arms it's and really, the back, isn't it? Yeah, it's the stabling, stabilizing muscles inside your abs. Mm -hmm. So when you have a strong core, you will have a strong back. 
Right. Because that frames your skeletal mm -hmm. and it gives you a much stronger body, especially your upper back. Right. Because you really need to use your upper back muscles to hoist yourself up. Mm -hmm. And it's a real total body workout because you, you, know, you use all the muscles in your body, including those little ones that you never knew you had. That's right, that's yeah. right. Now, what kind of discipline is required mm. to sort of maintain a healthy lifestyle? Now, you can't just do this once a week and expect to have a bulging six-pack, mm. uh, fit, cut, yep. trim arms mm. like you see with the many dancers, mm. whether pole dancing or not. So mm. how many times a week for the busy house mom or the working professional? Yeah, I think ideally um, you should do it three times a week. Three times a yeah, week. like all other exercises, you mm -hmm. know, you should be consistent. Consistency right. is the key. Yeah. So consistency, yeah, that's a good word. Yeah. yeah. So you know, you need to have that discipline and the interest. You know, yes. if you like something enough, you want to do it. Right. So you know, you you come for practice three times a week, and and you're good. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Now, how long does one session last for? An hour, an hour yeah, and a half. Yeah, an hour. Yeah. Yeah, an hour, and uh, that would include a lot of stretching, right. which is so important for women, I think. Wow, that's to important maintain, for everybody. We've spoken about a lot yeah, about that in the Breakfast Club. Yeah. I mean, to maintain the flexibility, and as we age, you know, your muscles need even more stretching. Right. Now, yeah. which muscles should certain people or well, people stretch? Because when I say certain people, some people have a dodgy back. Mm. You know, they, the back needs uh, more time, more yeah. stretching. Some people have dodgy shoulders, mm. you know, mm. tight shoulders, uh, all of the above. So yeah. which muscles should be stretched fully before mm. the workout begins? Well, as far as pole dancing is concerned, well, actually, I speak for all kinds of dance genres. Fair enough. Um, you really need a total body stretch. A mm. good warm up is vital. Yeah. yeah, because if you don't warm your muscles, you're going to get injured. That's right. Yeah, because, you know, it's dance is, is such an acrobatic and um, gymnastical thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, as with lift, uh, weight training and, you know, um, aerobics, um, you, you really need to get your heart rate up. And when your body is warm, that's when you should stretch. Right, right. Yeah. What kind of other dance concepts and genres are you teaching at the moment, Maple? Um, my focus right now is, and my passion and my obsession is pole dancing. Because <laughs> I really do want, I feel like it's a woman's movement, you yeah. know? It is, and it is a woman's Yeah, thing. and it is, it's, it's a new way of workout. It's a new way of fitness. And I think, you know, it's, it's not that new, but Malaysia is catching on. Yeah. yeah. Now, when you meet someone at a dinner party, mm. and then you say, hey, Maple, how are you? You and they say, what yeah. do you do? And you say, I'm a pole dance instructor. <laughs> What's the reaction from people's face? Are they like, huh? Um, Does that exist in Malaysia? Yeah, yeah. That's the first reaction yeah. I always get. Wow, we have that here. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's, 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 it's something new mm -hmm. to a lot of people. And a lot of people still have not seen what it's like. Right. So what I do is, you know, like in my school, um, we, we work by terms. Our classes run by terms. So at the end of the term, we have like a graduation show. Ah, nice. And that's when, Just you know, like school. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, uh, my students will get to showcase what they've learned for the entire <coughs> term. And right. I usually work on one routine and then I add on transition moves and tricks right. for them to better on, right. and then we will showcase that at the end of the term. Yeah. Now, Maple, for the benefit of our viewers, if they do want to find out a bit more information about your studio, mm -hmm. your profession, or just pole dancing in general in Malaysia, yeah. what website can they go to, or blogs, or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, well, I have a blog, right. which is www.mapleloo.blogspot.com, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right. or um, you can go to my website, which is www.bobbyspolestudio.com.ny. Right, and all the contact information is there, pricing, yeah. sessions. Everything's there. You see pictures as well of the other instructors from Australia, um, from Singapore, you know, so we are actually a premium pole dancing school. Yeah. Now, how did you get into Maple? Did it was like, cause like you've been, like I said, you have been dancing for yeah. quite a long time. Did, was it something yeah. that I, I you really just fell into? Or? Yeah, I wanted to do something that is far challenging than yeah. what I've been exposed to. Right. You know, and I know that it was a new sport. Mm -hmm. It's a new art form to a lot of people. And I was just so attracted to the acrobatics of it. Right. You know, I've always wanted to. I admire hip hop dancers. I, oh. I, I really admire break dancers. Mm -hmm. You know, so I wanted to do something of that sort, but more feminine. Right, yeah. right, right. Now, tell us about the softer side of mm. pole dancing. Now, some women, I'm sure, they'll say, look, Maple, I'm very interested to come to your class, mm. but, you know, maybe my boyfriend or my husband mm. or my mm. family even mm. still are not quite convinced. Right. It's a dance you mm, know they mm, sort of see it as mm. a different connotation yeah so what kind, can you share with us any success stories about that you took someone mm. who was not so confident yeah but you 
made them very confident. Yeah, I mean, to be very honest, most of my students did not start off being very confident. Mm -hmm. And in fact, they come to me feeling very intimidated. Yeah. And the first thing I say to them is, please don't feel intimidated. Be inspired instead. Yeah. You know, because think of the prospects of what you can become, you know, yeah. because whether you are unleashing the Venus or the Vixen in you, <laughs> you can be your own self-made woman. Yeah. I believe that. And, you know, like a lot of my students come with absolutely no dance background. They have never even been into fitness. So anybody all. can try. Anyone can pole dance for as long as you can brave the hard work and the pain involved. Yeah. And the bruises. Yeah. You you do well. Well, like they say, folks, no pain, no gain. Yeah. Anyway, unfortunately, we run out of time, but thank okay. you very much for coming with us and sharing your passion about pole dancing thank and you dance for in general. Me. All the best. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great Wednesday. On behalf of Mim Falu and myself, Ben Ibrahim, from The Breakfast Club, have a great Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Banama TV. Way thank you. Too bad. Bye. <laughs>